Exola Web Shop is a toolkit for mobile game developers who want to expand and grow their business worldwide. Web Shop is easy to implement and highly customizable, allowing you to create an online shop that is fully under your control. In just a few simple steps, you will have a website from which you can sell in-game items, currencies, subscriptions, and accept more than 700 payment methods from over 200 global regions. In this video, you'll learn how to use Exolva Web Shop to create a branded website that's fully under your control, import your in-game catalog to save time with existing assets, and identify players via authorization. Ready to move your game forward? Let's go! The first thing you must do is create or log into your publisher account. If you already have an account, simply go to publisher.exola.com and log in. Otherwise, click on Sign Up. Choose your email and password and click Create Account. Now we'll need some information on you and your company. Provide your name, company name, website, company size, your role, and the platforms you develop for. Be sure to choose Mobile, otherwise the web shop will not function properly. Once that's done, simply click Let's Start. Now that you're in the system, you'll need to create a project. This is simple. You can grab the link from your game's Google Play Store, Apple Store, or other store page and paste it into the field. This will allow Site Builder to create a template for your new web shop. Click Create Project. Now the publisher account page will greet you with your game's name and web shop solution card. Simply click Configure Web Shop to get started. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a guide listing the integration steps. This will help you keep track of your progress and ensure everything is ready for your launch. Step 1. Import your catalog of items. You can import your catalog automatically with PlayFab, Google Play, or App Store, or you can do so manually. We'll use Google Play as an example. First, you click on Configure for the platform of your choice. Next, you'll need your application ID and to upload a file containing your private key. After doing so, simply click Import. To get more details importing your catalog, read our documentation guide. After the catalog import, you'll need to do two things to make sure your items will display correctly on the site. First, you have to add the items to a group, otherwise they will not display on the site. The import will automatically create a default first group, imported and you can add as many groups as you need to sort your items together into specific categories like weapons or skins. To create a group, click Create Group. You'll enter an external ID for tracking purposes and choose a group name so you know what is in it. Finally, if you want to be able to sell the items in your store, you'll need to make sure you've selected Show in Store. Second, you have to add pictures for each item manually to make sure the right images correspond to the right item. To import an image, click on the icon of the image and choose the image file from your computer. Choose the group you want to be a part of in the pull-down menu. You can also define a property for the item such as consumable, non-consumable, or non-recurring subscription. Make sure you toggle on to show the item in the store. Click Save Changes and your item will be ready. Repeat for other items you would like to sell. Now it's time to create your site. Next, you'll need to create Page. A default version of your web shop will automatically be created by Site Builder. Open Site Builder to customize your site as you see fit. You can create a new block for each type of purchase, such as in-game items or currencies. Configure a layout that works best for your game. To add items to the store, click Add Block and choose Store. On the left-hand menu, choose the groups of items you wish to sell. Click the X in the window to close out of the shop block. Now you will need to set up the login settings to authenticate your players. You will have two options, User ID or Exola Login. User ID allows players to log in using their player ID or social media channels. We recommend using this option. Exola Login can verify users using one of the 30 plus authentication providers and login and passwords. If you like to use this method or are already using it, please read our documentation. On the left panel, open the login setting and choose User ID Authentication. Now you will choose your existing login project or create a new one by clicking on Plus New Login. 
Add the authorization webhook URL so the system can verify the user before allowing them to make a purchase. You must also set up webhooks on the game client side. Please see our documentation for detailed instructions. Let's preview the web shop and run a quick test purchase. Click on the button in the top right corner. You'll see your web shop. Click the button to log in and enter the test user ID. Click Buy Now for any item you want to test purchase and make a purchase with the test bank card. Next, set up webhooks on the back end. Webhooks allow you to receive notifications of events that happen for your Exola transactions. Webhooks allow you to automate back end and other supplementary functions, such as sending purchases of virtual currency or items to a specific game account. To begin setup, go back to the main menu for your project. Under your project name, click on Project Settings then webhooks at the top. Activate webhooks with the on toggle and specify the URL. Select the item type drop-down menu and choose from your virtual currency, virtual items, or subscriptions. Set an Exola order ID and then choose the newly created item you just made. If the test is successful, you'll see the green note, test completed successfully. The last step is to sign the licensing agreement to complete the process. You can also choose to use your own domain or use Exola's pre-assigned domain. When you're ready, publish your page. Now you can see what your published web shop looks like and make purchases on the fully active site. You can find all the documentation links mentioned in this video down below in the video description. If you'd like additional assistance, please email integration at exola.com or contact your account manager. We're here to get your web shop up and running as quickly as possible, so let us know how we can help.